Want to get your name in a video? Well, visit patreon.com backslash Mr. DeMeo. If you sign up, you can get your name in a video. I said that already. <laughs> Man, I can't believe Soggy Otter opened his own amusement park. And we get to go on his best ride, VR Escape. What does the VR stand for in this ride? Velociraptor. And I can't wait to meet one. Yeah, I don't know, man. This ride doesn't seem very safe to me. Oh, what's wrong, Andy? Are you a scaldicut? A scaldicut to drink out the milk and go in the poo poo litter box? What? No, come on, look around you. This place is a dump. Come on, do yourself a favor and have some fun for once. You've earned it. Ah, uh, okay, I'll give it a shot. Whoa, here comes the first animatronic. Oh man, I hope it's a Velociraptor. Oh, I am a Velociraptor, and I have a tail where my butt is. What? Oh my gosh. There's a gift shop over there. You want a t-shirt? Stay on topic. Hey, Soggy, we know it's you down there. Yeah, so, uh... Come out with your hands up. Who, me? I'm not soggy. I'm a velocity. Velosa. Velociraptor. I like to rap and go on tours. That's how I got the name Velociraptor. What? Is that really how they got their name? No, of course not. Raptors are a type of dinosaur that belong in the Dromaeosauridae family. Dromaeosauridae means running lizards. And besides the Velociraptor, there are many different kinds. There's one type called the Utah Raptor. This species lived tens of millions of years before the Velociraptor and was 23 feet long and up to seven feet high. There was also the Deinonychus. The Velociraptor's Jurassic Park were actually modeled after the Deinonychus. This dinosaur was a fierce, man-sized raptor with huge claws on its back feet and its grasping hands. But neither of these dinosaurs are as famous as the Velociraptor. This dinosaur was discovered in 1923 when a man named Peter Kazin stumbled upon a crushed skull and toe claw of a mysterious dinosaur at a dig site in the Gobi Desert in Central Asia. The honor of naming it went to Henry Fairfield Osborne, the president of the American Museum of Natural History. Osborne referred to this dinosaur as the Ovoraptor in a popular magazine article, but later he settled on Velociraptor mongoliensis, which roughly translates to Speedy Thief from Mongolia. Interesting. If only I could meet one one day. Hey, where'd Soggy go? What are you talking about? He's right there. Wow, what an impressive raptor costume. It looks like the real thing. Well, technically... Velociraptors didn't look like that. Jurassic Park movies, they're portrayed as vicious, cunning, reptile-like hunters. But in reality, they were much smaller, about the size of a large turkey or small wolf, and were a lot less intelligent. They could reach heights up to three feet tall and weigh anywhere from 30 to 100 pounds. But even though they were small, these creatures could be pretty quick, reaching speeds up to and over 25 miles per hour. And even though they kind of look like the lizards of today, they likely resembled birds more than reptiles. And some experts compared their intelligence to that of a modern day emu. And just like real birds, the real velociraptors were also feathered. But one thing the movies did get right is the velociraptor's claw. Velociraptors likely used this claw to stab their prey and stop them from escaping. So Velociraptors don't look like they do in the movies? What? My life is a lie. Next you're gonna tell me Godzilla isn't real. I hate to tell you this. But Godzilla isn't real. What? He isn't? What else is fake? Crystal Pepsi? Discontinued in 1994. Oh no. What about Steve? Unfortunately, I am alive and well. Well, is this ride even real? Of course it is. Just ignore that. Yeah. Oh my gosh, if this whole ride is fake, then I bet that Velociraptor is too. 
Isn't that right, Mr. Raptor? Oh no, I'm real. Or maybe even... Wait, what? Yep, I'm real. Oh, well, in that case, maybe you can answer some questions we have about Velociraptors. Yeah, like why do they have tails where their butt is? No, like where they lived, when they lived, and... Why do they have tails where their butt is? Well, I can answer one of those questions. Velociraptors roamed the Earth about 85.8 million to 70.6 million years ago, during the end of the Cretaceous period in what is now northern China. Velociraptors were carnivores, which means it ate meat, and it likely hunted and scavenged for food, which likely included reptiles, amphibians, insects, small mammals, and small dinosaurs. One dinosaur we know it ate was the Protoceratops, a sheep-sized herbivore and ancestor to the Triceratops. We know this because paleontologists found a fossil of a Velociraptor and Protoceratops locked in a heated battle that shows the Velociraptor with one of its foot claws lodged into the neck of the Protoceratops, all while the Protoceratops is biting down and probably breaking one of the Velociraptor's arms. Experts believed I likely lived in large herds, similar to birds, and perhaps that I was even nocturnal. This means I may have slept during the day and hunted by night. Experts think this because the Velociraptor's scleral ring, a bony disc that reinforces the eye, which was wide and would have let in enough light to see at night. Velociraptors had a large brain in proportion to its body, making it one of the more intelligent dinosaurs. But that's a level of brain power between a rabbit and a dog are probably similar to that of a modern-day hawk. But even though their brains were considered big, they were actually pretty primitive, and they may have instead relied heavily on their senses with not much thinking power. One such sense was their excellent sense of smell, which can be seen in the size and shape of a part of my skull that held olfactory bulbs, the part of the brain that processes scent. And speaking of scent, I smell something burning. Wait a second, what's the name of this ride again? VR Escape, why? Do me a favor, touch your eyes. Well, if you say so. Hi. This video could not be made without the help from my patrons on Patreon, especially Jack and Easton Hess, Marshall Evans, Tobin and Nina, Jordana and Aaron, Arthur Watson, Farron Witter, Erning Wick, Olivia and Mila Hikas, Dean Scandalakis, Timmy C, Ronan X and Raiden Z, Mary Margaret M, Charles and Olivia, Sam and Eddie from London, Ian Parker and Braylon Callis, Stephen McPhee, Rebecca and Sarah F from Pennsylvania, Luke Raposa, Clark R, Ethan and Axel, Rebecca Beanie, Peanut and Miss Teresa at Safari Small Schools in Canton, Texas, Mrs. Brown's First Grade, Mika Jordan and Maya, Gabriella and Carnacion, Gavin and Ian Eshte, Jack Hartzler, Renko, Kosya and Yaro, Gavin Meidel, Gavin Huggin, Tommy, Grant, Ian, and TJ DeRymacher, Jasper Soros Rex, Asher S, Grant and Ara Brown, Brandon Favaza and Mommy, Greg Matlock, Jason the Kid Parker, Harrison Eastwood, Amelia and Alan Mills, Luke and Lily Hurlitz, Lizzie, Dean and Trevor, GC, Jakey Jake, Carter, Levi and Fletcher, Hannah Y, Alexander and Julian, Creative Devin and Zach T, Lennon McCutney Jones, Paige, Avalon and Cash, Connor and Emma B, Korod, Ayer and Jovi Douthit, Kuchan115, Noah Chin, Max C, Julian and Joseph Pierce, Marshall G, Asher Evans, Jameson and Ela Smith from Arkansas, Wesley C, Oshi, Toothless and Light Fury, Mabel and Graham, Jameson, Nolan and Lily, Avery L, Marley and Lennon Kimsey, Leah and Gavin Clark, The Gowker Family, Ben and Ollie, Kate and Sarah, Miera and Mrs. Logrande's second grade class, Callum G, Evan Lee, Parker from Needham, Ariella Tishkoff, Santi Barajas, Charlie Stone, Adeline Fitzgerald, Nora Close, Gavin Watt and his cool dad, Lillian and Davis Sozen, Connor LeCoke and family, Haley and Ethan Hebbard, Amelia Silva, 
Finn and Papa, Chris the Megalodon, Aiden J, Lydia and Finn Birsch, Julian Jackson and Jacob, JJ Schmidt, Aiden Fenway Riley, Edward, Mr. Fast and Mr. Red, Hannah, Maya and Zoe, Jean, Amy Patterson, Medium Jack Page, Nura, Ada S, Bennett E, aka Pooh Bear, Jacob Baduzzi Thorpe, Liam Loves Volcanoes, Leif, Lake, and Ember Anderson Miller, Henry Pavelko, Elijah Robert, Christopher F, Evan Gray, Nadia and Hannah, and the Rivard Boys. Do you want to get your name in a video too? Well, visit patreon.com backslash Mr. DeMeo. If you sign up, you can get your name in a video, you can see my videos early, help me pick my next topic, and more. Check the description box for a link. Now, on to some fan art. I got this one from Isabella in Florida. She drew Rapsberry Lime, Water Balloon Guy, the rest of the gang. Very good, Isabella. I got this one from Mila in California. She drew me and Roberta. Thank you, Mila. Next, I got this one from the Mitchells in Florida. Uh, these guys drew pretty much everybody. I see uh, the birds from the Jupiter video. I see Justin, Soggy Otter. Pretty cool. Thank you. I got this one from Nathan. He drew Tommy, Jeffs, me, Soggy Otter. Wrote me a nice letter. Thank you, Nathan. Last but certainly not least, I got this one from West in Massachusetts. He and his family dressed up like a bunch of Mr. DeMeo characters. This is like the coolest thing in the world to me. So thank you, West. I'll be doing my next fan art thing a little different next time. This time I want you to send me pictures of you with my new books for a chance to be featured in my next video. Bonus points if you get both books. Just send your pictures to MrDeMeo7 at gmail.com with the word books in the subject. And just let me know your name and where you're from.